What's up YouTube? It's your boy EV Escape back with another video. Just sitting here doing some AFK wood cutting at the moment, which leads me into today's video. The 1 to 99 wood cutting guide. Very excited about this one. Been working on it for quite some time. So before we jump into the clips, however, I'm just going to let you guys know the next video coming out this Friday at 4 p.m. EST. It's going to be a PK video. Went ahead and got 40 attack for the free to play PK, sitting at 47 combat. So we can now hit 21 with the rune two hander. Very exciting stuff. That's not the point of today's video. We're going to jump into today's clips. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, welcome to my 1 to 99 wood cutting guide. And as always with my 1 to 99 guides, we're going to start off with the quests that you can do to get XP in wood cutting. So starting from the top, we have the enlightened journey, which is going to give you 1500 XP. The recipe for disaster part with Uglawi, which is going to give you 1500 XP. Hero's quest, 1575, Monk's Friend 2000, Animal Magnetism 2500, The Eyes of Glufry 2500 as well, The Fremenic Trials gives you 2812, Ichthalorin's Little Helper 4000, The Fremenic Isles 10,000, and Grim Tales 14,000 XP. Now, all that being said, much like a lot of the other skills, if you're not going for the quest cape you're not planning on eventually maxing out your account then it is actually faster to just go ahead and train on the normal training methods instead of doing the quest for xp because that will actually take longer to complete than the normal method so if you're going for max cape definitely worth doing the quest first it's going to save you a couple hours time because you're going to do them anyway but if you're not going to do them anyway not worth doing them just go ahead and jump into the normal method so with wood cutting as you go up your levels there's new tiers of axes you can use which each give a better chance to cut a log with level one you're going to be using bronze and iron level six you can upgrade to steel level 11 you can upgrade to black mithril is at 21 31 is adamant 41 is rune and as you get to 61, you can now use the Dragon Axe and the Third Age Axe. And on top of that, if you have 85 fire making, you can use the Infernal Axe. Now, the Infernal Axe has a 1 in 3 chance of burning the log that you cut and giving you the fire making XP for it. Now that we have gone through the equipment and the quests that you can do for wood cutting we're going to jump into the fastest method of getting from 1 to 99 now from levels 1 to 15 you're going to be cutting regular logs you're going to need 2425 xp which means you're going to need to cut 97 trees down it's going to take you approximately 30 minutes now if you were to keep the logs you're going to make around 5k profit however it is recommended that you do bring a knife to fletch the logs into arrow shafts for your early fletching levels if you do this you're going to make no money however it will clear up your inventory space without having to drop them and you won't have to run to a bank the best places to cut normal trees are around Draenor village which is going to be used for the oak and willows as well. So it'd be nice to just stick around there for all three of those. Or near the Grand Exchange, there is an absolute plethora of trees there and you will never run out of them. Now that you're at level 15 woodcutting, you can now cut oak trees. You're going to need 21,075 experience from levels 15 to 35. You're going to need to cut 562 oak logs. It's going to take you approximately two hours. And if you were to bank the logs, you would make around 21k profit. However, once again, it's recommended that you drop them for faster XP rates. That way you don't have to bank and it's only 21k profit in two hours. Not really worth it. Now, the best place to cut oaks is either next to Draenor Bank or west of the Varrock Bank, as shown in the clips here. 
From levels 35 to 65, you're gonna be cutting willow trees. You're gonna need around 427K experience, which means you're gonna to need to cut 6,327 willow logs. It's gonna take you around 10 hours. And once again, if you were to bank them, it would net you 50K profit. However, once again, it's definitely recommended to just drop the willow logs for faster XP rates. Now, the best place to cut willow logs are either next to Drain Old Bank. You can either do the Drain Old Bank or near the Sears Village Bank. Or once again, another one, you can go outside the Barbarian Assault. Super easy to get to the Barbarian Assault by just using the Games Necklace Teleport. Now that you're 65 woodcutting, you can cut teak trees. Now, teak trees are easily the best experience rates from 65 to 99. So, you're going to need 12,585,000 XP. It's going to take you 148,059 teak logs cut. It's going to take you approximately 167 hours which is a lot of hours. Now, if you were to bank the teak logs, you would profit around 46.5 mil. However, if you do decide to bank the teak logs, this is going to drastically affect the amount of time it will require to get to 99. So once again, it is recommended that you just drop the teaks. It's going to take you 167 hours to make 46.5 mil. That's like 250K an hour. So you can definitely make better money doing something else. Now, the best places to chop teaks, there is one tree south of Castle Wars. There are a lot of trees on Taibo One Eye. However, this requires the completion of the Jungle Potion quest. And then the best method is to go to Apatol. This requires partial completion of Monkey Madness until you can get a Grigri. There are two trees right next to each other as well as a third one, which is right next to the second one. So I would love to show you guys this. However, I haven't even started Monkey Madness. Uh, don't judge me. But Apatol, definitely the best place to cut teaks. So if we are going to total all of this up, it's going to take you approximately 180 hours. And if you use that method of 180 hours, you're going to profit a total of zero GP. Now, the 180 hours and profiting zero seems like it's pretty ridiculous, but 180 hours to get 99 wood cutting is pretty fast in comparison to the next thing that I'm going to go over. But before I go over the next thing, I'm going to make a quick mention to three tick and two tick woodcutting. Now, three tick woodcutting is the exact same as three tick fishing. You're just going to need yourself a pestle and mortar, some swamp tar, and a grimy herb. Now, three tick is going to increase your XP by 50%. So, 65 to 99 doing ticks with three tick will take approximately 112 hours. Now, the two tick wood cutting, I'm gonna be putting out a guide on this soon, as soon as I finish Monkey Madness and I can get there and actually start doing this. Two tick is going to increase your XP on normal wood cutting by 100%. So 65 to 99 will take approximately 84 hours. Now, three ticking and two ticking are quite difficult skills. They are quite click intensive. So they're not for everyone. But if you guys want to see a guide, I will be coming out with a two tick woodcutting guide soon. And I already have a three tick fishing guide. It goes off the same concept. We're now going to move on to the best profit method for one to 99 woodcutting. From levels 1 to 60, you're going to do exactly the same as the previous method. However, from 60 to 75 in the profit method, you're going to be cutting yew trees. Now, you need 936,679 XP to get to 75, which means you're going to need to cut 5,353 logs. Now, I thought this was really interesting. At the time of recording this, you need 5353 five, logs to get 
from 60 to 75, and U logs cost 353. Three. So it's 5353353. Really, you know what? That's it's a whole lot less interesting than I thought it was to start with. Damn it. Anyway, it's going to take you 30 hours approximately, and it's going to profit you 1.9 mil. Now, the best place to cut yew trees, you can do it in the Sears Village Churchyard, which is south of the Sears Village Bank. You can also do it south of Edgeville Bank, where there's two trees up near each other, right near the bank. Or you can also do it in the Tree Gnome Stronghold. Once you hit 75 for the best profit, you're going to move on to Magic Trees, and you're going to do this all the way to 99. You're going to need 11,824,010 XP from 75 to 99, which means you're going to need to cut 47,297 magic logs. Now, hold your nose because here comes the cold water. This is going to take you 500 hours. 500 hours. However, it will net you a 55 mil profit approximately. The best place to cut magic trees is the Mage Training Arena, which you saw in the intro. You can also do it at Sears Village, or once again in the Gnome Stronghold. Telling up the profit method of 1 to 99 wood cutting, it's going to take you a total of 530 hours. That's a whole lot of hours. You'd have to play literally 23 days straight to get 99 wood cutting using this method. Beside the point, it's gonna profit you 56.9 mil. So really not a good rate at all. It's looking around 100K an hour. Now, is it worth it? No, in, in simple terms, absolutely not. However, if you just like to AFK, you don't like putting too much effort into a skill, AFK woodcutting is really good because you can just click on the tree and come back a minute later, look again, click on another tree. So it's very, very AFK. And uh, if you like doing that, this method could be worth it in that sense. You will end up at, when you get to 99, you will end up with around 55 mil profit. So it can certainly be worth it in that sense. However, in terms of XP rates, definitely not worth it. Now, an alternate method is to get to 90 and then start cutting redwood trees. These can be found in the woodcutting guild, which I'll go over in a moment. You're going to need 7,688,099 XP, which means you're going to need to cut 20,234 redwood logs. It's going to take you approximately 109 hours and net you a 7 mil profit. So 109 hours, seven mil profit. How do you feel about making absolutely nothing? Talking like 50K an hour right there. Definitely not worth doing this method for money. However, it is AFK and it is quicker than magics. So once again, if you do like AFK, this could be the method for you. Now, as I just mentioned, you can only cut redwood logs in the woodcutting guild. You can enter the woodcutting guild with 60 woodcutting, provided you have 75% Hasidious House favor. Now, if you don't know how to get 75% Hasidious House favor, I do have a guide coming soon on that one as well, once I start doing them on my account. Now, the guild provides an invisible plus seven boost to woodcutting levels and houses 11 normal trees, four oak, seven willows, 13 maple, 17 yew, 8 magic, and 2 redwood trees. Now, this is definitely the best place to cut all of these trees in the game once you have the levels to do so. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is the lumberjack outfit. Now, the full lumberjack outfit provides a 2.5% boost to XP when cutting any trees. Now, the Lumberjack outfit takes around eight hours on average to get, and over the course of level 44, which is when you can equip it, to 99, it's gonna save you 325,000 XP. Now, is it worth getting? If you're doing the fast method, then it will take eight hours to acquire and save three hours of time. 
So not really worth it in that sense. However, if you're doing the slow method or the profit method, it's gonna save you 10 plus hours. So it's definitely worth getting it if you're going to do the profit method. All in all, teaks are the fastest method in the game, but if you wanna AFK your woodcutting, you can certainly do use and magics and make a little bit of money on the side. It really just depends on what you're into in this game, whether you want fast XP or AFK gameplay. So there you have it guys, one to 99 woodcutting in a nutshell. Uh, worked pretty hard on this video, getting all the XP rates and all of the XP amounts and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed it, it'd be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you click that subscribe button. I put out a new video every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Speaking of Friday, I'm gonna be putting out a PK video this Friday. 40 attack, 74 strength, 39 hit points. It should be really fun. Looking forward to that one. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.